Hey guys, my name is Boris with Desert Rats Hunting Club. I would like to present one, some beauty here. It's a Blazer tac tactical version, the one of the first tactical versions that Blazer made. Uh, RS one. What we have here in the package: original sling, three magazines, tools for uh, for detaching and attaching the barrel. Uh, and also we have a um, Zeiss scope here, which is a, a HD 4x25 uh, scope. It's a, it's a great looking package. And how you know all Blazer platforms are, this is R93 platform, but tactical version with the tactical stock. All those platforms actually are are barrel and caliber exchangeable. Um, in this case scenario, we're gonna try 308 Winchester 308. Uh, I'll try to do to make it happen on 100. See how we can do 100 uh, meters and then 200 meters for today to see how this uh, rifle is gonna perform. Okay, guys, let's do the. The buzzer, uh, our S1, and see how it's gonna perform. This is the barrel, heavy duty target barrel. Let's tie the, the barrel. And of course, I don't have the original tools of Blazer. Blazer has a original tools you can use to tie up the barrel. There's actually two holes that has a undetachable screws inside and uh, you just gotta tie them up. Here it is. Put the buzzer on. Okay. Let's do the, this is the bolt assembly. Very smooth, easy to do. And now we have the, the scope, which is actually Zeiss Conquest HD5, it's um, uh, 5x25. Okay. Put this right here. And use the. They still have other professional uh, there on um, tool for that, but I'm gonna use uh, the one that I have. We know the barrel, actually the scope mount is tidying straight to the barrel. We have a steel mount, steel, steel um, rings, loophole, and, and blazer base. Again. This 
is very strong model actually mostly of the uh, of the construction is aluminum and steel uh, our s2 and tactical version the new ones they get a li little bit uh, with uh, a lot of um, polymer on it plus you have the, the only one 10 round magazine after the, after this model they stop to do a 10 round double stack magazine which is a uh, all steel magazine the new magazines for the new versions are all polymer this is the only steel we have here okay now I, all, I already signed the, the rifle showing really well but I signed it uh, with the stock ammunition now what I want to try minus 165 yeah. I want to try some rewards here to maximize the accuracy and what we have here is uh, 120 fake 125 grain SST Hornady SST bullet with um, uh, 45 grain of uh, Vitavuri with a 45 grain of Vitavuri N140 and we have the same bullet with Vitavuri 133 we'll try both of them see if there is difference in the group Plus, we have a, a same bullet a SST with but heavier 165 grain with 41 grain uh, Vitavuri N133, and we can we're gonna try all those to to find the best bullet for that. And now I gonna I have to go and uh, put the targets, and I'll be back. Now we're gonna try a blouser on those targets, see how it's gonna participate. This is uh, 100 meters. Let's try first with uh, Vitavuri 133, N33, 41 grade load and SST bullet. Horna DSST, which is one of my favorite bullets. I'm trying a 25 magnification. Okay. Take care of the parallax.
see. Yeah, the exactly same group, I mean very identical. 133 Vitavuri and 140 Vitavuri, pretty much identical. Excellent group, under, under more group, sub more group, and actually They are not warm, very, very, very good quality of barrel. I mean, it's, it's can can get warm, which is excellent. Other than that, top of the line, everything on this package, you know, it's a, I have uh, keeping zero all the time when you detach and attach the the, uh, the scope. Uh, great smooth uh, straight pull bolt mechanism. It's a uh, it's an excellent, excellent package. Uh, you can ask for anything uh, uh, more accurate, but instead to change the rifles, now I'm gonna go and put one target on 200 meters, and then we're gonna see how it's how it's doing over there on 200 meters. Let's go and do so. Then we know that we are over with this rifle. Let's go and put the target. Let's clean a little bit, you know, a very little bit, just to take the largest obstacles out. Hello guys, we're gonna do the second session with uh, Blazer, Blazer RS1 and see how it performs. We already know from the first session great performance on 100 meters, great performance at 200. We'll start again at 200 meters and then we'll go to 300 meters, figure out uh, what this rifle can do. Uh, we're seeing at 100 and 200 meters he's keeping the sub more group. We'll check about 300 meters, see if he's gonna be able to keep a sub more group. We're gonna use two rewarded bullets today. The first session we already used 125 grain in 308 uh, Winchester, which we're shooting with Blazer. 125 grain with Vitavuri, uh, 133 and 133 41.1. I think so 44.1. I'll, I'll figure out this later. Uh, powder uh, load. And we have a newcomer now. We're gonna try also today. Um, what Nodler 
ballistic tip can do for uh, for us again reloaded reloaded the same way with the same powder the same grain has been re it's recommended in the Vitavuri uh, loading data and uh, yeah with those two we'll figure out exactly who, right now what our S1 or Blazer R93 can do 200 and then 300 meters we have one problem today that it's really windy maybe <coughs> 10 miles an hour with guts of 15 to 20 but uh, the wind is come, coming to the target way this means it's still gonna, uh, still gonna be a problem but uh, hopefully it's not gonna be so big of a problem Let's hope maybe the maybe it's gonna it's gonna slow down. Let me show you again. This is the 308 reload with uh, Nosler ballistic tip and 308 reload with uh, Hornady SST. Okay, let's see what we can do now. The two cartridges, the 125 grain, both of them. Nosler, ballistic tip, the green tip, and uh, SST of Hornady, 125 grain. They're performing pretty well, both of them, with Plazer RS1. Uh, how I said, the wind is crazy. It's a gutting non-stop, it's like a not a consistent wind. I, I kind of tried to play with the reticle and the windage. I am trying to accomplish the best possible groups. But what I can say by wadding uh, with the same amount of powder, the two, the two bullets has the same velocity, which is great. This means they are 100% substitutable bullets uh, and they have approximately the same accuracy. Here I try to play with the windage, and this is like a kind of two more group uh, at 200 yards, uh, 200 meters, which is over 200 yards. Here, same thing, we have like a two more group. This, this was with the both of them with Nosler, and uh, here we have the best achievement with SST which is showing a more group one inch group right here one is touching each other this is with, uh, with the SST of Hornady it's hard to say but it looks like both cartridges are performing great how I said with the same load they are fully substitutable uh, the point of impact is at the same at the same spot, which is great. Uh, the ballistic is the same with our S1 uh, of Plaza. Uh, I decided to cancel the 300 meter se session because uh, of the crazy wind. I mean, it's not going to be fair to to do it uh, unless. We have better day here in desert uh, without these guts, wind guts. Either on yeah. this wind, it's a, it's a more uh, group here at 200 meters. Uh, we know from the previous session that it's going sub more. In the previous session there was almost no wind, which was great, uh, uh, great for 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 shooting. And. Uh, we have no we have some two sub more groups both of them with SST I didn't have those left of time but both of them with SST we have a great achievement of sub more groups at 200 meters with plaza now my my desire is to see what's gonna happen at 300 meters we just gotta wait for better, uh, better weather and uh, uh, we gonna 
start session with Blazer our S1 uh, in tactical in our 308 Winchester. Uh, this will be, this will finalize our conclusion for for this rifle. If you remember, last time was very windy and we didn't go to 300. But the rifle is showing a very good results on uh, 100. It's some more and uh, 200. It's a more group. We're gonna finalize with with uh, 300. Uh, meters shooting session today. Actually, this is like a around 320, a little bit over 320 yards. Let's tie the barrel. We're gonna use the same bullet. The two bullets we're gonna compare. One is Nosler uh, ballistic tip, and the other one is uh, my lovely bullet uh, Hornet SST. Both of them will be 125 grain, and uh, they show similar velocity on 200 meters. And I can say crazy windy that time but uh, SST kind of showing a little bit tighter group than nozzler ballistic tip This is actually the first RS tactical built uh, from a blazer. It's built like a tank, steel aluminum everywhere, including the steel magazines. The new ones, uh, like uh, RS2, has a lot of uh, polymer, including the magazine is polymer. But this one has, it's like a military edition, really heavy duty. Showing pretty good results. Of course, we don't have a professional bench which is tight in the ground or something. I'm shooting from table, need to get in consideration. But the great thing today, when I wake up and pull the weather uh, application, it's showing me four miles an hour, more than great. And I just run to, to deep in the Las Vegas desert to. Uh, Kind of finalize my blazer R1. Uh, we're using a Conquest HD5 RZ1000 uh, uh, reticle with uh, steel loophole rings. With steel loophole rings and uh, steel blazer. You can load, of course, without detach the magazine.
here is what we have here this is the target with the um, nozzler ballistic tip 300 meters 320 yards approximately a little bit over see those are the three which is showing like a two and a half inch group two are very good but this one and maybe me maybe the wind we still have a guts here but those two are showing that the rifle can group pretty well actually here when I shoot here I was playing with the elevation and the windage and this can be considered too much this is this is the one that I precise and uh, then we have uh, three more with uh, SST three more groups this is the first one that I play with elevation no good it's like a again two and a half inch uh, then I have this one which is kind of one and a half inch uh, which is again SST here everything SST Hornady 125 grain and this is the the ballistic tip of Nosler they 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 do pretty similar pretty similar mm. but yeah they're pretty similar I can't say this is the one that is wrong those are two again with SST it's like a uh, three quarter of an inch but this one is fly away maybe me again maybe the wind got in that particular moment because the wind is different here and there we have more wind here because we are kind of on the hill and less wind when the table the shooting table is and this kind of I can feel what the wind is here in order to wait or something but uh, with two words you can miss it uh, it's a really really good gun uh, rifle which uh, the only comparison I can say is that my my Seco TRG 42 which actually is the one that I really in 338 Wapua which I and making unbelievable things with this uh, rifle but I'll show you in my other review for that particular rifle but this is the only competitor which is keeping a tight group uh, on uh, longer distances it's a blazer uh, and especially the tactical uh, the tactical uh, RS one I don't know about the others but again, yeah, we, we have a two in a three quarter inch SST, two in a three quarter inch, two in actually less than three quarter inch, you know, here with, uh, this is with uh, ballistic tip of Moser. It's hard to say which bullet is, is better, but what we see here, based on the elevation, the two bullets performing the same here, I was spotting through, uh, I was putting the target on the wrong reticle spot believing that this is enough but uh, enough uh, elevation but uh, looks like 308 start losing a lot of velocity after the 200 meters and you gotta go more drastic actually up with the elevation in order to compensate the distance uh, I was right in the middle which maybe is gonna work if, you, if I'm shooting on 250 um, uh, meters but for 300 meters you gotta go one spot down and then after I did so we seeing SST is right in the middle right on the light, right elevation SST right on the right elevation Same rules. and uh, SST is Nosler a good tip uh, actually Nosler uh, ballistic tip this is the best Nosler group this is the best uh, uh, SST group on 300 meters I think that's all of course if you go to the real real shooting bench 
and no wind. Uh, I can say different reticle than than uh, RZ1 1000. You can accomplish uh, a lot better results than this. Maybe you can jump to sub more group for sure because yeah. What is the conclusion guys? It's a pretty accurate rifle. The only comparison I can I can make is with uh, with Saku TRGs. Uh, Saku actually to me especially the trigger is little bit superior than Lazar. But uh, if you get used to it, to this rifle, this is uh, definitely just proof that uh, it is a Submoa rifle for 300 meters. Means that if you have no wind, like we have now, they said 4 miles, but it's kind of with guts maybe of 1015 especially up there where the targets are uh, heel wise it's like a, maybe you have guts in around 15 this means if you don't have this wind uh, just lucky no wind no guts from time to time happen it doesn't not too often but if you have that and you have a Lighter reticle than RZ1000 of Zeiss HD, which to me again is pretty heavy for what I'm trying to accomplish. A plus if you have more solid bench, kind of compare with this one, you'll be more than capable of some more group on. 300 meters and maybe even more but in general very accurate ah, very expensive but here is the uh, if you can find cheaper rifle which is uh, so accurate like a blazer for example or Seco is the same price. Either if you go to Seco M10, which is the exchangeable barrel system, the price is two and a half to three times more expensive. Seco. This means considering the exchangeable, exchangeable barrel possibility, exchangeable caliber possibility of this platform, this is a great rifle. One more thing before I forget. It's a really neat with the straight pull bolt. Not because it's just straight pull, because we already are used to it to pull up, lock down, actually pull, pull up, pull down, pull up, lock down. We are used to it to this, but the advantage of this rifle is that and of course, this is faster because it's a shorter pull plus it's just straight pull. It's a faster than any other either 60 degree bolt action. But the key of this one is that you're staying on the target. Uh, shooting by many times by pulling up and down and locking and unlocking, you kind of for a second you're losing the target before the second shot comes up. Uh, with this one, you can firmly stay on the target all the time and just reload really fast, which is the biggest advantage of Blazer. I mean, all these features together actually make this uh, action one of the fastest and convenient. Uh, bolt action exists on the market.
it's a, it's a big plus, I mean, with any other rifle, if you go 30 out 6, if you go 308, if for a second you may lose the target with this one, you are always on the target, and really fast, re really fast rewarding, which make it the fastest action I ever see. The other advantage of this rifle is it's, it's come to a really small package. This is like a suitcase you're going to work, you know. It's very, very convenient to handle, to carry, a very, very nice way to do so. And the other very important thing that from my short experience with this rifle, it's never lose zero, which is kind of a great thing. Just never lose zero. Uh, once it's signed, it stay right there. You don't need to worry that if you when you attach back the, the scope mount to the leads here at the barrel, you're gonna lose zero. Then you gotta shoot again and spend money for ammunition. In this case scenario, no losing zero. It's a Excellent achievement in this uh, area. Let's say you, yeah, you paying the same, the same money like a Seiko TRG forty two or twenty two. Seiko to me a little bit better trigger, but when you get used to it, to this, the advantage of this one is you can, you, it's a multi caliber platform. Keeping zero all the time, very solid made, especially this one is like a tank, it's a steel, ma steel magazine, the only one tactical blazer that has a 10 round magazine. Uh, our S2, tactical 2, they all are uh, kind of 5, but they don't have 10s. This is 10, it's of course you sacrifice for the weight of this rifle. But depends. I mean, if you're my size, you don't gonna feel it. If you just smaller, shorter set, then maybe better to go to with a lighter hunting rifle. But this one is excellent to me. It's excellent for hunting too, if you don't mind the weight. At least you know that wherever you point the rifle is hitting right there. You don't gonna suffer, the animal is not gonna suffer. You just uh, shoot right where you point as long as you know the, the, your scope and where the hitting points are based on your reticle. You can miss it and you don't have to spend all day to retrieve the Wounded, wounded animal. This is a clean human, how they say, shot with this rifle. And actually, the distance doesn't matter too much because the rifle is showing pretty good accuracy. Sub more, sub more to 300. Then go to larger distances you need just to you have kind of logically where where you need to go especially on RC 1000 which spot you gotta use for 350 450 but you know a little bit practice to confirm will be great and actually the distance hunting distance will not gonna be so important with rifles like this, with rifles like a Seco TRG 22s and 42s, those are extremely accurate and you can accomplish uh, extreme accuracy on 5, 6, 700 uh, meters or yards where you go. Another, another thing that is unique, either differenti differentiating from Seco, I don't know from what kind of material they made these type of barrels, but 
this battle never get hot. I mean, in the first sessions I was shooting sometimes 80 rounds to this barrel uh, in one session, and actually it's uh, it can be a little warm, but never hot, which is a huge accomplishing. That's why made they are so expensive, maybe. Uh, this means that uh, the heat, the heat of the barrel is not going to influence your accuracy after the third shot. For example, I mean you can place a really accurate 10, 20 shots uh, without uh, the heat affecting your accuracy, which is a big, big plus for people who don't want, are not hunters only, for persons that actually love just to shoot and not wait the barrel to cool all the time after day four this one you don't need to wait it's never get hot maybe it's ex there is explanation from Bla blazer but i never wrote the reader but definitely something different than any other rifle that i shot <laughs> 